I need to ask you a very important question. Have you ever been in love? I have. His name is Wesker. Don't ask about it. Uh, <laughs> but have you ever been in love to the point where you're ready to stab everyone around the person that you love? I hope not. I hope your answer is no. But we're going to be on the receiving end of that today. <laughs> Me for Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> what a woman. <laughs> I have installed the Yandere Sebastian mod. Yay! Scratch that, the Sebastian mod didn't end up working, so we ended up doing the Elliot mod instead. Yay! Good old Yandere's! Coming to think of it, I've actually been in a relationship like that. I actually forgot about it. Huh. We won't open that can of worms. That was a whole thing. Anyway, this time it's fictional and we can close the game when we want. Um, that's a story for another time. Forgot about that. <laughs> Green flags. My favorite thing. No, my favorite thing is red flags. Let's be real. Red flag. Fla flags. <laughs> I can spell. Oh. Sweet, it's so late. Why haven't you gone home yet? How do you know I haven't gone home yet? Are you following me? The mountain roads are dangerous at night. Would you like me to take you home? Why are you here anyway? What about me? I heard from Willie that was a rare fish to be caught at night, so I simply waited on the mountain, that's all. Likely story. Hmm. Some fish are a little tricky to catch. That's why I'm still like, you know what? Fair enough. Could <laughs> Do you think I'm stalking you? No. I shit. <laughs> Called me out, man. <laughs> oh my! How could I possibly such a? Bleh. How could I possibly do such a terrible thing? Sweet, you think too much. It's true. I've always been told I have a very overactive imagination. Though it's also a good thing to be so vigilant. See? Elliot's gaslit can't keep care of us. Speaking of which, sweet, do you know the legend of Bigfoot? I heard it's also appeared in the mountains here. Bigfoot? Is he gonna offer to take me home because he's scared now? Good tactic. <laughs> but since we're here together, I know we won't encounter any monsters. If you ever feel the least bit afraid, simply call for me and we can walk together. Okay, that's, 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 that's quite cute, okay? <laughs> I'd fall for this. Like I said, my favorite thing, red flags. I bid you good night, sweet. Sleep well. Please don't follow me home. Oh. Sweet, I've been watching you. Have you noticed? Your admirer. It's not creepy or anything. Sure. <laughs> Creepy, I've been watching you then. I sell hats! <laughs> oh my god. Sweet. I must apologize to you for I have done something completely inexcusable. Please forgive me. I've been lurking around your farm last night. I saw you rush into your home. Your delicate fingertips slightly red as evidence of your arduous labors of me trying to get to my house. <laughs> Your pretty silhouette cast through the window, and with bated breath, I watched you collapse onto your bed, silent in response, unable to control myself. I put- WHAT?! <laughs> we just met the man! <laughs> what?! <laughs> oh my god, he's killing me. I didn't want to disturb your peaceful slumber, let alone harm who I hold so dear. I understand this sort of behavior is unacceptable, but believe me when I say my actions came from a place filled solely with love and sincerity. Sincerity? <coughs> sincerity. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's actually killed me. Oh. Hello, sweet. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I wouldn't say day. You reminds me of when we first met. Simply thinking about it makes me want to see you so badly all of a sudden. Elliot, it's the middle of the night. Go home. Despite having prepared for this moment, I'm still feeling a little nervous. Ah! <laughs> Aww. Once you meet the person who's going to change your life, you simply know it right away. And for me, you are that special per- Stop it! I'll fall in love. You can't say nice things like that to- <gasps> Every second I'm with you, I'm restraining myself, and I don't want my feelings to scare you. But now, I just can't hold back any longer. Please don't stab me. I can't imagine you with anyone else. Whenever I see you smiling at other people, it pains me. Oh, back where you- No, no, 
Stop getting closer! Stop it! <laughs> I want you to be mine alone. Oh, I was actually worried he was gonna stab us. <laughs> oh no! I feel like saying he's scaring us is a bad idea, okay? We don't want to upset him. Maybe we'd be like, I'll think about it, you know? <laughs> ah, that's alright. I shouldn't have been so hasty. I'll happily wait for you to think it through. He is a walking red flag. Holy shit. <laughs> sure. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sweet, you were simply too cruel. Don't you know the power you have over me? I can't help but fixate on your every move, every word you say, and every smile you show. Even if you would demand I jump into the boundless fires of hell, you know I'll obey without hesitation. I'm willing to pay any price if it means you could be mine. Your admirer. Okay. I'm just talking to everyone. Maybe I can make him mad. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea, but it's still funny. Oh, I, w I wasn't talking to anyone else. I, mm -mm. I've, I would never. Mm -mm. I've heard there are many people who like you now, so no one. Whilst those people may have a good eye, I would still prefer it if you kept your distance from them. I have. See? Many meters. That's, that's at least ten meters. You shouldn't give people false hope. <laughs> Wow. Rude. <laughs> okay. I don't kill him. Oh my god. You almost died, bestie. What if I talk to Sebastian in front of you? Have you been to the mines at night recently? Sorry, I was just asking. I have. Alright, look, I don't mean to scare you, but last time I saw you walking home, it looked like someone was following you. No, I don't think it was Bigfoot. Uh-oh. Sebastian's is gonna get stabbed. Let's go to his house. Might not be the world's best idea. Who wants to live forever anyway? <laughs> uh, now we look like the stalker. I'm sorry, I broke into your house. I'm so sorry, you've influenced me. <laughs> Sweet, why? I'm sorry, I, I should have knocked. <laughs> So sorry. Now he's gonna get the wrong idea. Why are supposed to see me like this? In bed? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm the creepy one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been suffering from insomnia at night, so I try and take a nap during me too, actually. Mm. I've been having nightmares recently and I just can't sleep at all. For the longest time, I couldn't understand what was happening to me. And by the time I finally realized the cause, I'd already suffered countless sleepless nights. No, truthfully, I believe I knew exactly why in my heart. There was just nothing I could do about it. Would you mind leaving first, sweet? I think I need a little time alone. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. Do we encourage him? <laughs> You're all saying yeah. Do you want us to die? You know what? Could be funny. <laughs> Is that so? In that case, can I ask you something? Sure. Back up. I like to- oh. That's such an awkward question to ask. <laughs> That's such an awkward question. <laughs> It'll only be about- I think if, if I was interested in a guy and he was like, can I cuddle you? I would get the biggest ick. <laughs> Please? Oh, now I feel bad. Okay. These lines are embarrassing. I can't even read them out loud. I get- Oh, oh I don't like that he's slow- <laughs> We're gonna die! <laughs> if we die, you can't blame that on me. If, if we get killed, you encouraged him. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Whenever it's a wall of text, you just know it's gonna be bad. Oh no. There is yet to be a moment where I don't long for you. The only thing I look forward to every day is a few brief conversations with you, and the rest of the time consists of meaningless, hollow anticipation. 
Whenever you approach me, it takes all of my strength to not tremble in excitement. At first, I didn't know what this emotion was. Only that the sight of your smile made my heart sway and that your... <laughs> and that your back made... Me and, and that of your back made me suffer. Oh, like when we turn, we... Oh, that was a very weird way to word that. But I understand it now. I love you, sweet. I love you more than anything in the world. Your admirer. Okay. I'll take some stones. Thanks, George. To throw at Elliot when he comes near my house. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Hi, Mari. I have something to tell you. Yes? When Sebastian left earlier, I snooped around his room because I was worried about him, and... There were pictures of you all over his wall. He's completely obsessed with you. I... Huh? What is happening? <laughs> what? Competition? <gasps> I can go into his place now. <laughs> oh. There's a knife in the cupboard. I have no idea what it's doing there. Okay. Sure. Elliot's desk is littered with notes and crumpled balls of paper, one of which has a couple of lines scribbled on it that reads, The moment I laid eyes on them, it was like I was hearing music from heaven. From that moment on, I knew only two paths were left before me. Should it all end in failure, I shall be destined to suffer the eternal flames of hell. This guy's really obsessed with the flames of hell. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> you gotta start with the... With the lung and to- oh, jeez. Okay. I couldn't help but notice you've been talking to other townspeople more- No, I haven't. You've been imagining it. Gaslighting back. <laughs> I understand that you have a kind of love- a kind and loving heart. It's simply in your nature to be friendly to others. However, your actions may foster unwanted emotions within these people. And such an outcome is something none of us would like to see. Anyway. I hope you consider what I've told you and have a good day, my love, your admirer. Why is he still saying your admirer? Even at this very moment, my heart is consumed by feelings of unease. I swear to you, I wouldn't hesitate to grovel on my knees and beg for the favor of each and every god if it meant you'd never leave me. After all, unless we're all dead, how can anything last forever? Well, that's different. <laughs> okay. Please don't... <laughs> Trap me in here! <laughs> okay, that, ooh, that was a bit unsettling. Oh my god, Elliot, stop with the walls of text! No! There is no person I love more than you. This is why I can't continue to hide behind this anim- Really? I want you to see me. I want your heart to be occupied by me and me alone. As such, I must say goodbye to- oh. Huh? What? Oh. Just let yourself in, why don't you? Hello, sweet. He he's not sounding very happy. Shit, maybe he found out about Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, move back a little bit. Good idea, Elliot. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- didn't mean to what? I don't know why I'm just standing here. Uh, neither do I. I'm sorry, I'll just... <laughs> do we encourage him? <laughs> I already know! I already know, Gali! <laughs> raining he's he's like a sopping wet cat sopping wet crazy cat <laughs> we're letting him stay really i no it'd be best if i leave and so oh okay sure thank you sweet i'm just are you okay dude what's the matter i'm sorry i know you must have been surprised to see me show up all of a sudden a little i miss you so much I miss you so much. Okay. <laughs> That's such an awkward question. 
<laughs> Ick! <laughs> so uncomfortable! Oh, such an awkward question, Elliot! <laughs> I won't see it. Promise you'll never leave me, okay? Uh... <laughs> the way we like turn at the camera, like, bruh. <laughs> Even our character's like, what are you putting me through? <laughs> Here I am like, we should marry him! <laughs> um, it's nice of you to visit. How about you? You don't have eye on anyone at- No! It doesn't matter if you do. I won't let anyone else have you. Good to know, I suppose. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he knows! After much deliberation, I have finally decided to send this letter. I heard that you and Sebastian started dating. While I know I should express my best wishes, I simply can't bring myself to do so. How could you do this? How could you possibly fall for a person like that? I'm willing to bet that you know far less about Sebastian than someone here, like Abigail. He's a rebellious shut-in, and with the way he is, it isn't unlikely that he'll leave Stardew Valley someday and abandon all he's left behind. No offense, but you are here in no way compatible, though, naturally, he is the one who doesn't deserve you. I'm trying my best to control my tone, but I hope you understand that I'm in no way calm at this time. I implore you to rethink your choice carefully. It's unbecoming of you to make such a rash decision. I have enclosed what you need. Once you're ready, give it to him. He'll understand. I want to hold you to take in your addictive scent. I want to feel your warmth and your ja That's creepy. Now I'm certain as long as you're with me, I can continue living. You shouldn't say- You won't leave me with- No. Look, I'm here to prove it. Our journey has led us here. I shall miss the sea, though I feel your farm will have a charm. I mean like, you're two minute walk away. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You may kiss. You may kiss the crazy man who's been stalking you for like a year. Sure, it'll be fine. Not all my boyfriends in one spot. What's the matter, darling? Didn't you come here for eating? No. I... <clears throat> You're trembling. Are you okay? Totally fine. You're not sick, are you? Do you want to see Dr. Harvey? It just so happens that he's here too. No, no, I'm good. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You'd be fine if you were sick. You'd never be able to leave me that way. What? Did you, you back up a little bit? You're not trying to run away, are you? Didn't you promise to stay with me forever? Why are you acting so skittish? Don't you want these people to see that you're mine? Hey Elliot, knock it off. Drama. <laughs> and who are you to stop me? Oh. He's, he's fucking crazy, Sam. I would... Mm. Or I could not. <laughs> Or do you want me to take the initiative? If so, then I can't guarantee it'll end it just as <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, please! Pop the brakes, bestie! Don't be afraid. You're doing great. Okay. Thank you for the reassurance, I guess. You're going to be with me forever, aren't you? I'm keeping this rabbit foot on me, just in case. Darling, I have some bad news. You suddenly have to leave town? I got the results of your physical from Dr. Harvey. They're not good. I think you'll have to rest here on the farm for a while. I understand this news is hard for you to bear, but for your health's sake, just try to endure it for a while. I promise I'll take good care of you. Is something wrong? What's on your mind? What do you want to do? Yeah. I just want to take care of you. I'll take care of you until you're better again. All I'm asking is that you stay home for a while. Promise me you'll get some rest, okay? This is incredibly unsettling. Welcome home. Let's go to bed early tonight, okay? 
There's something I want to tell you. What I've been meaning to say is, I'm sorry. Oh! Of course you're not sick. It's a lie I made up. Really? <laughs> Since the last incident, I just, I lost myself to rage. Thinking of you and all those people, I... I know I'm a petty man. I kind of shady... Shoddy? Shoddy. What kind of shoddy lie would never be able to fool you? All I wanted to be with you, if only for a second longer. I want to be with you forever. I want you to be mine. All mine. There's very little I won't do in order to achieve that. <laughs> Time with you has been like a dream. A dream that I never want to wake up from. But I know full well that we can't go on like this. People are likely getting suspicious by now. Yeah, because you've trapped me in my own house. Please don't be mad at me. Starting tomorrow, I won't keep you here anymore. Compared to seeing you so unhappy, I'd rather... From now on, I need you to keep your distance from those people. Torment me all you want. Just don't leave me. Mm, no. Alright, let's get this creepy dude out of my house. <laughs> File for divorce? Yes. And then we're gonna do it all over again with someone else. 